Um, so, uh, okay. This next thing is for my son. Um, he is fit as a fiddle. My son will never have to worry, I don't think, about being fit. Like, I think he's going to be tall and he's lanky. So he's going to definitely be a svelte man. <laughs> um, and he just loves to move. So I got him this. It's supposed to be a jumping rope that you can do virtually, basically. So I don't exactly know how it works. I'll probably tell you later in a video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But I'm looking forward to giving that to him. And hopefully he can have fun um, jumping rope because he seems to enjoy it. Antenna bobber. Now, Timu doesn't have a lot of antenna bobbers. And what's funny is I do. <laughs> Like, um, it's probably good that they don't because I would probably buy like every single one that they happen to carry. Um, but basically this is just a little flower, like a little orange flower with a red um, center. And it's really cute. I have, I don't even know how many Disney um, antenna bobbers. And every time I'd go to Disney, that would be the one souvenir I'd come back with was antenna bobbers for myself. I let the kids and my husband get whatever they wanted, but I just wanted antenna bobbers. So I've got a whole collection and I change them uh, fairly frequently. <laughs> Daughter's boyfriend is very near and dear to my heart and he has seen me crochet lately. And I've only been crocheting blankets, but basically he asked me if I could figure out how to make a poncho and he gave me specific colors that he wanted. He wanted brown with black stripes so this I thought would be a nice weight to use for it so that it wouldn't be too horribly heavy, but at the same time would provide some warmth like in the fall. Um, and then also if he's just sitting at home. So this is some beautiful yarn. Oh, that's beautiful, you guys. It's very soft. Um, it's very, I can tell it's going to be fairly easy to work with. It's called Spin Cozy and it's 50 grams of um. 50 grams, which I can't remember exactly how much it turns out to be. This is a four ply. Um, so I'm hoping maybe some of you are uh, studious enough to be able to look that up and figure it out. But it's 50 grams of four ply yarn. And I got eight of them just to make sure that <clears throat> I could get through the poncho for him. Um, and then I also got two uh, of the black so that I can make the stripes um, that he wanted. So. I'm looking forward to that. I really, um, I hope I do well. <laughs> I'm going to teach myself. So let's hope I do well. <laughs> okay. And like I said, I've got eight of those um, yarns. All right. Now, I've also, unfortunately, been purchasing and purchasing diamond paintings. So I'm hoping that that is another thing that I end up um, doing in place of purchasing. Um, and then when I finally get through all my Timu stuff, that was what I was planning on doing with my hands as I told my stories was diamond paintings or painting or drawing. Um, this is basically Jesus's hand reaching into some, reaching towards water and grabbing uh, someone else's hand. Um, and I just really loved the sentiment behind that. Um, and I'm looking forward to all of these diamond paintings. So that is what that one is. I'm going to try and get closer for you to see if you can see the picture. I don't know if you can. Probably not. Okay. All right, what's in this box? Oh, another thing I am addicted to is I have a small shelf outside of my office at work and um, I was inspired by two of the executive assistants who have a shelf unit between their two offices that they decorate and they go all out. They decorate for whatever ha is, happens to be going on um, and it ends up being just so cute and it just really kind of cheers me up. And so I kind of wanted to do a mini version of that on the shelf that's outside of my office. So I have been purchasing these um, animal sculptures basically that have these different layers of wood and just really show a beautiful beautiful scene um, so this one happens to be a rhino now I know <laughs> that this sounds hokey but I kind of think of the rhino as my um, 
as my soul animal. Um, I was dreaming about rhinos for quite a while. And then I finally looked up like what the Christian meaning of a rhino was. And it was someone who liked to stay close to home and like to kind of be a homebody. So I basically um, wanted to make sure that I got a rhino in my collection of all of these. And at some point, these will also be in my Timu reviews, but this would be a hearty thumbs up if I was doing it. It's nice and thick. It stands on its own. Beautiful, just beautiful. So it's got like a Serengeti type of a look in the background. Beautiful. Looking forward to that one. Okay, I, I tried these dupes of the S-C-R-U-B parent, and I basically wanted to see how close they were, and I can tell you right now, because I scrubbed my uh, cast iron pot tonight, that it is nothing at all like a scrub daddy. It has doesn't have any like thickness or stiffness the way a scrub daddy does. Um, these are basically just... Um, sponges, which I will use. It's not that I won't, but I really kind of was hoping because those scrub daddies are so expensive that there'd be some kind of dupe out there that was um, like it. But um, I'm sadly disappointed, so I would put a thumbs down on this one. Oop, got some jewelry. Ooh, here is another of my little charms for my PAN dupes um if i can get to it that is so this is a small heart with angel wings um and i believe in angels i really do um i think that angels are in heaven and that they don't judge people on earth so i don't think of the angels up there judging us i think of them looking upon us as compassion while we're down here trying to figure it out so this is a small silver heart that has angel wings on it, and it's a spacer. Ooh, what is, oh, this is, oh, I'm so looking forward to this one. This is a coaster diamond painting kit. So it, it's a coaster that you can make with the diamonds, and I would then have a keepsake for um, my home which I was really looking forward to as well. Um, I can see that this is kind of like a beachy theme is the one I went with. Um, I had like four of them in my cart before I finally decided. So the beach theme is the one I went with and um, they're nice. They're heavier than I thought they would be. Real wood, real wood with the template over on top of them. Um, and it looks like, uh, I don't see where the glue is, but I wonder if there's a way to take off that top um, or directions in here. Or perhaps I need to buy my own glue with this kit. Um, it doesn't come with directions or anything, so I'll have to kind of figure that out. But I really was looking forward to making some coasters um, with this kit. There is all together one, two, three, four, five, six coasters and its own little carrying case which is real nice. Um, it comes with your standard tools and your small piece of wax. So uh, I'm looking forward to making that. That will be a lot of fun. Ooh, this is a spacer bead that actually is a lot bigger than the others I have seen. Uh, it's very lovely. It's silver, it's nice and heavy, and then it's also got the 925 silver mark. So that's real pretty. Some pink stones and some white stones in there and some hearts on the bottom. Uh, okay, this is another necklace. Um, and this one I actually got for Andy. He's been interested in jewelry lately. Um, and I got him a watch with the both the gold and the silver tone because he really liked a watch that I had that was similar. Um, and it's huge on his wrist, but it's just adorable. And so I thought I would try to get him a, um, a just a, a chain that he could wear that was kind of masculine looking. Um, so it's just a lovely, plain silver bone chain. Very pretty, very nice weight. Uh, that one would be a thumbs up for sure. Ooh, this is a ring. And another thing I've gone crazy on is rings. 
uh, let's just say I've gone crazy on every single thing um, that I see. It's it's really an addiction. I'm not kidding. Like my coworkers had to um, actually have an intervention with me to stop me from ordering Timu. Um, uh, they made me take the app off my phone. Rose gold ring. Um, just simple, but enough flair to kind of give it some real pretty feminine vibes. I'm not a big ring person. Um, I really like them to be simple and, and small. Um, so uh, this is probably the biggest ring I'll ever have, which is my engagement ring and my wedding ring together on the same finger. Um, and the only reason it's thick is because they're together. But otherwise, oh, that is lovely. That is really lovely. Very nice weight for a ring. So I'll put some nail polish on it and um, basically let it dry real well. And then it'll go in my regular um, rotation with everything else. This is a small turtle charm. Uh, as I said, I love all animals. Um, my first favorite animal is a penguin. My second is definitely a turtle. And my third is a frog. Um, and then dogs, cats, fish, uh, everything else under the sun. Now, obviously, um, I don't want to necessarily live with a turtle or a frog. So I have a lot more dogs than I have turtles and frogs. Um, a beautiful little blue stone with a silver turtle. It's got some detail on him. And then there's some blue stones that is actually on the hasp of the charm. And it's a dangle charm, which I'm happy about. Beautiful. All right, another charm. This one has... Um, a background, it's a charm, um, a charm, I can't think of the word right now, bead, um, and it has a moon and some stars, and then the background is a sparkly dark blue um, base, real pretty, just a simple, simple hasp, um, and lovely, just lovely, it's going to make a really nice addition, that'll be great. Oh, oh yes wow these are way smaller than I thought um, these are those slidey uh, pieces that you put on the bottom of a chair or table so that they slide easier um, across the floor and to be honest with you I thought these were about twice as big as they are um, because I was kind of hoping that the weight of the furniture item that I'm going to put on it would push in and kind of envelope the foot of the item. Um, but these are much smaller. So I have a feeling this will be like every other thing I've tried for a solution and uh, the sticky will stay on for a little bit and then eventually come off. So kind of disappointed in that. Um, maybe it was my fault for not reading the size or I usually do read the sizes. So it's possible that I just misjudged the size in my head. Um, so yeah, these are less than an inch. This is for my daughter. She wanted a set of gel nail polish items, tools, etc. for Christmas. So I basically um, wanted her to be able to soak that off easily. So I got her one of those hand soakers that she can put the acetone um, related remover in there and then soak for a while so that it's easier to come off. I've had the experience with gel nails of them not coming off easy and it wasn't fun. So hopefully that will work for her. Um, it's a nice size, about an inch and a half. Fits your hand well. Will be nice. So it's really funny because I'm almost like a little girl when I play with makeup. Like I don't really know what I'm doing and, and I'm not really quite good at it. But um, this is a pink one. Uh, it's a temperature based lipstick. So once you put it on your lips, it actually changes color. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that far away, but... I have purchased one other one of these and it does in fact um, I can't put my lip under the phone so 
I'll do my best to stay still. And it does change a subtle color that does match your lip color. Um, so these temperature control or these temperature changing lip balms really do work. Um, so if you wanted to play with them, go ahead because I can tell you that the color changes and it does kind of match your face based on um, your own lip color and your temperature. All right, this is a hair clip. Um, I have gotten my daughter and I so many hair clips since I started my teamwork journey. <laughs> um, but this one was just for me. Um, I am born in May, and so this is a lily of the valley. And I just like the fact that it's my birth flower um, on a hair clip. It's a sturdy metal. Um, it came in different colors, but I chose the pink. Um, it has little pearls and it has like enamel, um, probably oil paint enamel. Beautiful. It's nice and big. It'll fit really well. To be honest, it's been so long since I ordered this one that I can't necessarily remember everything. Um, I think it's blush because I rarely get blush. But I, again, was trying something out. Oh, yes, it is. It's blush. It's Ross Double Blessing Blush Powder. Cute box. Cute packaging. A little beat up, but that's okay. Oh, nice. Nice packaging. Wow. This has beautiful. It has a little mirror on the bottom, which is great. Um, and it's very lovely. Let's see how this... Oh, no. I opened it upside down. So, oh, it smells quite some. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, that's uh, beautiful. <laughs> um, this is kind of par for the course with me, so I'm just going to go with the flow, as a matter of fact. So here's a swatch on my hand. Um, it does color nicely. It gives a little bit of sparkle. Um real subtle actually i could see myself wearing that but i will tell you it smells of roses strongly of roses and i'm not against nostalgia in any way shape or form but uh it's definitely whew, powerfully smelling just be ready for that okay so now you can see it's also blushed my tablecloth lovely and it's got a lot of sparkles which is beautiful just being honest, this is one of the bracelets I got for all of these charms that you've been seeing. Um, it's just a simple silver bracelet that I know that the charms will fit on um, because it has a very small jump ring uh, on the other side. I can slip that jump ring right through there and then clasp it up and um, I have myself a dupe, uh, which is beautiful. So it's going to be real nice. I'm going to love it. And I'm going to be able to put some of my many charms on it um, to have it look like a dupe. Happy about that. Okay, my daughter comes home from college and she always borrows my brush because she forgets her brush at school. So I decided to get her a brush for home. And then that way she doesn't have to worry about it. And she doesn't have to use my brush. Um, not that I mind her using my brush, but this way at least she has her own. So I'm going to leave that in here. Um, this is her room. So. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Okay, another diamond painting. This time it is a pug. It's a pug. I don't know if you remember from my other videos, but I have two chug dogs. And they are adorable. Um, and they're both this fawn color. So I have two chugs, and um, I'm just really looking forward to um, using those. So that'll be good. I'm down to the last couple things. Okay, another charm that uh, someone you'll recognize. And uh, I just love the movies that this character's in. Um, it's also a good memory for me because my son, when he was very little, this was his top movie, and he would watch it over and over and over and over. So that's a good memory for me to not only remember my son, but to remember um, Disney. This is actually 
yet another Marvel character, but Disney owns Marvel, um, that I can't mention the name of. But I am also a huge fan of those movies. And so this was perfect as a charm for me. It represented exactly what I like about these movies. <laughs> this is the last thing. And this is to help me actually organize all of my, um, my tiny SD cards and my um, drives and everything else I might need to organize uh, this project I'm doing on um, <laughs> YouTube. So I'm looking forward to having that. And then I can also, it's got enough room to put like one cord in there. So that'll be wonderful. So that is the end of the Timu haul. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.